Hello everyone. The command to get everything prepared. Oh, is the server up? Okay. So I am using a different headset this time. Which unfortunately means I can hear myself because it's not noise cancelling. So I have to get used to my own voice. <laughs> Let's see, I think I moved everything over last night. Nope, looks like I left a couple things behind. Not a lot, but a little bit. Now, did I leave anything in here? I'll take the coal, because I could probably use that. I don't know if these guys were sleeping or not. Guess we'll find out. Oh, looks like everyone's in bed. <laughs> So there's a couple things I need to do today. First things first, let's see if there's any cats. I was trying to tame one for quite a while and none of them were spawning, which is kind of frustrating because usually there's tons of cats just running around, but now there's none. I did go ahead and expand the villagers a bit. Not that it matters too much. Uh, so they should continue to make more of them. Actually, let me turn down in-game sound a bit. like super loud <laughs> it's like unnecessarily loud I have like my audio so low well there were no cats so I'm just gonna jump immediately back into trying to make this dungeon So where I left it off yesterday, we had this main chamber basically done. Uh, there's a spawner inside of here. It'll have to stay there for now. Obviously it'll stay there permanently, but the intended use of it is probably to open up the ceiling a bit to allow things to spawn and drop in. I'm still not positive if I want to do that though because it could mess with some of the redstone later on. Let's go ahead and deposit some of this stuff. And then I need to start excavating this a bit. Now since we already have this chamber down here, this is kind of good because that means we don't have to like undo all of that. So I'll probably try to just get this to match. Let's see, what block did I use here? I think that's deep slate. I have a lot of basalt. Maybe I'll use basalt for the, the corridors. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use basalt. Although you have to place it right, otherwise it doesn't look right. It's not the, the easiest building material to work with. It might get work though. I 
I really just trying to use like whatever materials I have so I don't have to go gather a bunch of them. We'll make the hallway three and then it will go into the room. Now I haven't decided what the, the whole dungeon is going to look like just yet, however I do know what this side of it will look like. Well, not necessarily look like, but how it will function. So I'm going to have some kind of jump puzzle that involves probably lava, you know, in case you fail. <laughs> And if you do fall, then you're gone. Man, there's always so much stuff in my inventory. It's always garbage too, like two, two pieces of iron. Emeralds, potatoes for some reason. Fence, string, lapis, melons. <laughs> Alright. Let's finish this. Oh, finish this hallway. I wonder if I have enough copper to band both sides of it. Mm, that's probably enough. I think that'll be almost perfectly enough. So now... I'll probably make a staircase that goes down from here. The question is, what block do I want for the walls? I feel like I should just go with cobblestone. Because otherwise I'm just going to have too many blocks to fill. Now I can use this ice as well. The ice will melt, but the packed ice will not melt. And for the jumping bits, I could use a mixture of ice and quartz. I do think I need more sticky pistons. So I could use a couple of these to trigger jumps going in and out of the lava. Oh yeah, I also moved all my stuff over here. This stuff's definitely uh, started to rust. That's good. We want it to look old. And the rust will really help that. We don't need this yet. What I need is that abundance. Actually, no. Man, I thought I was like out of blackstone, and here I am with so much of it. What to do with all these things? I'm trying to be efficient with my blocks. But at the same time, I have to get them out of the way. Alright. I'll probably make this as tall as this and then go no higher than that.
The thing I, I can think of immediately is I need torches. Because I want to keep this lit, because I don't want to have to start repairing like creeper holes as I'm building. Also, this thing feels slow. Efficiency 5 netherite. I guess it's fast. I guess I'm just not used to tunneling in the overworld. Usually I'm only doing this in like the nether. And then everything in the nether is just like <laughs> you take out an entire row. I think if I, once I clear this part out, I'll probably seal off this bit, and then we can probably make it only go up to here, and this should be like the end of it. I'll probably seal it up, and then it would look nice if I made the outside consistent. Or at least the walls consistent. But I think I'll leave the natural stone as it is. So whatever ends up being the whatever ends up being the wall, I'll just fill it in. We'll just make sure like it's a uniform shape around it. And then once I have the basic shape done, I'll start putting in the blocks for the jumping and once we have that layout done we'll test to make sure it works and then we add the lava in now I do think I'll have to go to a swamp at some point and get some more slime balls so I can make more sticky pistons. Now I was debating adding a checkpoint as well since this is going to be like a, a miniature jump puzzle. And typically in those you'll have a checkpoint just to keep people from uh, feeling defeated having to do the whole thing. But I think we won't go with a checkpoint. Because it adds complexity, and it also isn't really going to be that long of a puzzle. I'll probably just throw a bed somewhere over here for them to use. Still have to think about the other side. The other side of this dungeon, I want to design some kind of actual like logic puzzle. But in order to do that, I'll have to actually sit down and plan it. Because I've come up with a couple ideas for it. Some being like a, a lock that requires like a pin. Because I know that's something you can do with redstone. Uh, that's not too. It's not super complicated. It's something I can actually replicate. It's not something I know how to do off the top of my head, but I have done it in the past, back when redstone didn't have as many options as it did now. So I imagine with comparators, it's probably gotten more more uh, compact. Okay, so the plan, I'll seal this side up, 
So I don't have to deal with it. Plan is probably have a couple jumps out of this area. We'll have this be the the entrance. And then let's go ahead and seal this part off. And this part. Mm, I should probably put a wall here too. Just make it flush with the rest of the wall. I should have brought my scaffolding with me. It's like one of the few times you'll actually get some proper use out of it. Other than for like a, a singular build. Okay. As expected, tons and tons of things in my inventory. But that is okay. Most of the stuff we'll probably end up using. Let's put a torch along the outsides here. Then we'll fill this in too. Maybe I'll use this part too. I'll make it so this is not possible to jump over here, which it already is impossible. Which means I should probably replace the roof too just to make it clear that they're not supposed to break it. So what we can do is I'll have this, and that'll be like a, a thing where they're not sure if they can go this way. And we'll just block it up right, right here. And we could put like a bed down over here. Now unfortunately, I think all of my wool is in the villager area. Nope. Never mind. Apparently I have plenty. Bunch of barrels. Oh, we could put these here. This will be like a uh, store your stuff before you you die. <laughs> if they can, if they even look up. I never thought about adding barrels to the roof. 
That's a nice convenient storage. <laughs> I'll have to consider doing that at another point. Obviously, realistically, that would not work very well. You'd open the door and everything would just fall out. <laughs> this is not the real world. This is Minecraft. We don't have to obey the laws of physics. Put some of this stuff away. Probably need more of that, so it doesn't hurt to put the, that in there. As for this, I doubt we'll need more copper, but might as well smelt it. Same with this. Iron we'll definitely have a use for though. For iron, we're gonna make a ton of buckets. I think the max you can have is 16 buckets in a stack anyways so this should be fine hopefully I'll find a lava source that's nearby as far as I'm aware there isn't one I'll take a peek over here oh never mind <laughs> I am thankfully wrong this is actually very convenient. So we'll stick some of these blocks in there for now. Okay, so this will be the main area where you're jumping. What we can do here, I really need to get what is it? What is it called? It's that frost. It's not permafrost. <laughs> I think it's called powdered snow. We need powdered snow. Which means we need cauldrons. Well, let us go for a ride. Nine should be fine. Go for a ride. Let's see if we can find a place to get powdered snow. Now, in my head, I already know there's a place that's probably going to be a lot more convenient, but someone else already owns that area. Now, I could go there and visit for a bit, because it will take a bit for these to fill up. They really need like a rain indicator. Actually, now that I think about it, we slept like 10 minutes ago, so it's going to be a minute before rain shows up. So, I guess we won't be doing that. We'll check every like 15 minutes or so if it's raining. Because it has to be snowing in order for you to be able to get powdered snow. And even then, I don't, I don't even think you can get any in the time frame we're looking at. So I'm going to put lava around here. How high is this? This is 28. So if I were to dig down 24 blocks, I probably would not hit bedrock, but at the same time I'd be very close. I guess the elevation doesn't mean much. <laughs> Although the elevation could help a bit. We'll go ahead and fill this in. As much as I'd like to go with the idea I had, 
This doesn't quite work. Unfortunately, I don't think we can wait on the permafrost. Not permafrost, the powdered, powdered snow. It would simply take too long to get the, the amount we need. Now I have two sticky pistons to work with. Let's go ahead and wire them up. So the first one, put right here. the redstone that makes it work back here. Now that I think about it, this could actually work pretty well. We'll make the first jump. Like right here, maybe. Yeah, that could work. Need to make some redstone repeaters because we need to delay it a bit. I have one more slime ball here. All right, now we got three we can work with. I'll grab the quartz and I think I have enough space to hold 16 buckets. I do not. To buy dirt. Hey senpai. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Oop, don't want to use wool. Wool will not last. <laughs> Making the second part of the dungeon. Uh, this will be the parkour puzzle. And probably my next dream will be the next part. Where the heck are you going? Apparently things can spawn in here. Let's go ahead and solve that. So this stream will probably be dedicated to getting this part working. And then we'll also link it up to the bottom half here. So that it's connected to this. Uh, I won't be on this server for much longer. Once I finish my my tomb here. I'm going to focus on my own server. Everything I have is going into my tomb. 
They will have to get through the tomb to get my stuff. Alright, so the jumps. First one will be here. Next one will be here. Because I think you can jump that. Next one right here. That one will be tough. If not impossible. <laughs> yeah, I think that one might be impossible. Nope. You can do it. It's just not easy. You gotta catch it right on the corner. So we'll start here. The lava will flow over one. And then we'll let the lava proceed this way. We'll make it pretty simple for this part. So obviously this is too far away to jump this way. But they can certainly try if they want. We'll start it here. Can they jump that far? They could. This could be a shortcut. They can either go this way or they can go this way. Nah, it's too close. Maybe I'll put like glass here. <laughs> Just make it difficult for them. Ooh, I could put a fence instead. Maybe some basalt pillars. Yeah, that should make it impossible for them to jump in between these. They can still see, but they can't jump between them. Because they alternate a bit. Where'd the quartz go? Did I put the quartz away? I did. Now the obvious problem here is that. So we'll have to go here, here. We'll have to do a bunch of baby jumps to get to this first part. This is just going to burn as I put lava down. Actually, I don't know. I think fence burns. Maybe it doesn't, though. Oh well, now it's gone. I thought lava goes farther than that. Apparently lava only goes four.
Put one more down here. Put one down there. And we'll wait to put one down over here. We don't want to put down just yet. We'll leave this here. This will be a little rest area if they choose to use it. So let's go ahead and make a bed. Should they choose to use it, it'll be available. Oh, apparently it does burn. Just takes a while. Okay, so that's there. We have this part done. You do a bunch of baby jumps. That bed will act as a checkpoint. If they make it past the baby jumps, then they'll, they'll do this a little bit. Jump over here, jump there, jump across. And then we'll put a ladder here probably that goes up. And then they can flip the switch. Now something I could do to make it a little more interesting is instead of a switch, I could put a button in there and they'll have to shoot it with an arrow to keep the button pressed, which gives them like a five minute window in which they have to finish or they have to do it again. But for this, I think I should use redstone repeaters there. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. As long as it goes into the block. So I'm going to put a pressure plate here. Or better yet, because I think this will work better. Think this will work better? Hmm. So jump from there to there. Then not do this long jump. But we'll put a pressure plate here. And this will start these things moving. I kind of like the idea of making these one lower. I'll do that. I'll make these one lower. That way they're all inside of the ground to start with. Because lava is going to be filling up this area here. So if I keep them one lower, they'll be flush with the lava.
Alright, we got that started. The interesting part will be getting the mechanism to work to where they can alternate. Although, I think it will work if they each go at the same time. Although alternating would be better. I think I can get that to work. So this is basically just going to activate something that starts these things moving. It'll be, this will be like a, I don't know, an, an, an or switch, I think. Where basically no matter what happens, it's either off or on. Okay. I'm going to seal myself in for a minute. And I will be right back.
I am back. Sorry about that. Alright, where did I leave off? I'll probably need a redstone repeater in here because I don't remember how far they go. But this one might be too long. And let me pull up that document I had yesterday. It shows the various types of redstone things you can do. Because I think I need the ore gate. Yeah, the ore should work. The problem is I don't think they work. No, it should work. It'll work. I need stone. It should be down here. Okay, so this will light this. The question is, how do I get that to continue? Once again, inventory problems. For this time, bucket related. <laughs> I think I can do this with a torch. No, if that was going to work, it would have worked. Although it might work with a block there. that work? No. No, it doesn't work. Oh my god, now I need I need normal torches. I think those zombies are above me. Or they could be below me, actually. Now, if they were below me, they would come up the stairs. I need this to activate. Problem is, it's not going to carry down unless that works. But does it work with this there? It does. That's perfect. So this will provide a signal. We'll send the signal out to this one, so this one's up, 
that way they can see that this one's too far away. The question is how do we get the next one to work? I wonder if that works. What happens if you do this? <laughs> the one time use. You have no chance to use it. <laughs> Put that one there as a decoy. They'll be like, what does it do? <laughs> Unless it burns. Does that burn? If it burns, I need to know. Somehow, I need this to activate something that will can activate a redstone clock. But I need it to only last for so long. How do I do that? I guess we'll worry about that in a second. I need more of these. Who knew that uh, linking up three sticky pistons would be this complicated? We'll knock this one back by two. That way we can throw this there. Loop this up with my non-existent redstone. reaches. Now here's the interesting part. These are up. As soon as you step here, it should turn off. Uh, okay. It's got to be difficult. I wonder if this will work. Put that there in that there. Yep, that works. But it probably won't work when I do this. Yeah. Kind of thought that would happen. I think I can put glass there to stop it. From doing that. I think glass acts as like a, a redstone something. Some word. Yeah. See, I remember things. <laughs> funny as soon as you stand here they all go away <laughs> now we want it to do the opposite of what it's doing right now so we'll kill that and then this will activate this so that basically reverses it so right now they are all not working correctly Okay, now they're working correctly. So right now, you'll get to this point, and they will not be active. You'll jump on this, and they'll appear. 
but the funny thing about this part is you'll jump right in the lava. Now what we can do to replace that is we can add a button and that button has to be shot to keep it lit. So in this case we need the ore the ore will take place over here. Actually, let's go ahead and cover this up. And I'll make a second staircase over here. And we'll just knock this out for now. This will be our little path between it. That way I can work on this without having to keep tearing up the floor. put some of these buckets away for now. We do not have need for lava currently. Okay, so we want a button somewhere on the wall. That button will be made out of stone. And we'll put a couple fake buttons there too. Actually, can you press a stone button out of, with an arrow? I do not know the answer to that question. We will have to find out though. There's an arrow. Do I not have a bow somewhere? Fail. Actually, let's make some more of those. We'll make some dispensers to go with this. And do I have my potion supplies? I do not. I doubt I keep a brewing stand in one of these. I have potions, but not the ones I need. Whatever. We'll make a bow and test this first. I'm curious if a stone button will work or if I have to go with the wooden one. So if I put this, let's put it over here. I put some redstone down and press this button. It lights up. If I shoot it, it does not work. So I do need wood. Actually, let's just double test that. So I'm pretty sure this works. Yeah, that works. So I'll put like three buttons down. Is this even? Two, three, it's ten. So maybe I'll put four buttons. Put like one there, one higher. Ooh, I could do something evil. <laughs> I could put the button over here. Put the button like right there. So they have to come back here. And if they keep that button pressed, 
it'll keep this down. Because if they just come over here and they don't see that button, this is what they'll get. They'll step on this, it'll activate, they'll be like, oh, I jump over there. And then they'll go to lava. <laughs> Cover this up. And then we'll have like a little balcony up here. Oh, apparently these these do cause burning. <laughs> I think ladders burn too, don't they? Guess we'll find out. Don't have to go very far with this one. We'll just put like a lever right here. Although, then they have to get back. Which they wouldn't be able to do. So I'll have to include a path around here that goes back. Oh, I could do that. I could make a hidden door. Keep this lit up. Oh, definitely keep that lit up. <laughs> Ow. Let's cover this up. Make it a little less obvious on this side. I get a lot of iron from this. Could leave that open. Nah. I'll have this go around. How far out was this? One, two. I know what we can do. We can make this go all the way around. And then it'll drop you off, not here, and not here.
That works. This is kind of like my, my temporary tunnel for now. But we can have this drop you off right here. It's kind of like most uh, platformer games where once you finish the puzzle it drops you right back off where you started. <laughs> And they'll probably never even notice it. Eh, it's probably not light enough. These soul lanterns don't provide much light at all. So let's take these back. Let's go ahead and cover this up. Deal with that later. We'll open up this side, because I need to close this side up. There we go. So this will drop you off right where you started. that cobweb there. Okay. So we need something that links into this. We'll have it link from this side. That is temporary. The one that links up here will be permanent. Where does this go? We need to go around, around this way. How far I would have to go. But I think I went too far. So this. Oh. Actually, it's almost perfect. Block this off. Block that up as well. The button's right there. So that should activate the back. Yep, that works. So this just needs to go down and around. I think it can actually go 16 before you completely lose the signal. Let's go ahead and block part of this off though. Add some more torches, prevent things from spawning inside of it. Cover that back up. Cover this side up. Cover that up. And I guess we leave this here. It's like an in between area.
need to get more redstone. We'll block this off just in case anything comes wandering in this direction. I think we about got it. So they come in, they'll do this little bit, they'll go across there. This will give them access to this room. They'll have this. Yeah, why not? Let's just add these down. Ooh, I can put a chest in there and use that to store the bow and the arrow. Hello, Bunko. But we'll go there. We'll put the arrows like this. How are you doing tonight? So they'll have to hit this. And if they hit that with the arrow, it should stay for like five minutes, which will trigger this. Because if they rely on this, they'll die. Cover that up. And cover that up. Need a little bit more redstone. Let's see how far this goes without needing more, which means I need something to tell me that. This is our test. How far do you go? Let's see, it stops right there. Just enough to not make it. <laughs> I need one more redstone repeater. Means I might as well make more because I'll need more as well to run the rest of the, the wire. Let's go ahead and convert these, store those in there just in case I somehow manage to kill myself in the lava as I'm setting it up. <laughs> Actually, let's take that with me. Uh, let's see. I need two redstone, two of these. That should be enough. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So while this is activated by the arrow, these are up. If I press this, nothing happens because it doesn't care because it's already activated. That's good. Now I do need to seal this before, <laughs> before uh, putting the lava down because that would have been a problem. Make sure there's no gaps. Okay. 
We'll go get rid of the, the switch. And then I will test it with an arrow just to make sure it works. And we will do the circuit from start to finish. Okay, so to start, jump here, jump there, jump here, jump. Come over here, grab the bow, you grab an arrow, you shoot this. Come over here, jump, 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 and jump. Then up here we'll have the lever that activates this puzzle's completion. Then you can walk over here and exit the room. That works. Best part is you can actually come back and retrieve your arrow. So now it is time to put the lava down. So it travels about four blocks, so I should be able to get quite a bit of distance off of some of these. Yeah, I should have expected that one. Does that go around? It does. means I could put one well if I put one on each of these that should spread that way I don't think it'll get that one though so just to make sure we get that one let's put one here Need one there, one there. There, one there. Time to go refill. After we dump stuff off. I'm hoping that this lava pool over here has enough to, to finish this. It should. Oop. I gotta get rid of this. As funny as it is. I'm just glad this one doesn't light on fire. I like how it doesn't bother traveling backwards. <laughs> it's just like, I will only go forward. Wait. There we go. Now it's thinking. Watch me fail this jump. Interesting, that one didn't do it. Or did it? Yeah, it did. Now the fun part is getting lava over there. I probably should have done that part first. That would have been the smart thing to do. 
Although, we can have some fun with it. Let's grab the rest of my buckets, which I have lost apparently. Here we go. We'll drink this resistance potion and just kind of wade through it. Got plenty of them laying around. It's funny that they say resistance because you can actually just take no damage from it. As you can see. <laughs> it's more immunity than resistance. Put one there, there. Then we put one here, here, here. I think we have just enough to kind of finish this off. There we go. Plenty of nice lava. Now the thing is, this will bring them up one block. So let's get rid of these bottom ones. That way they can't just do this. Yeah. That way this doesn't work. They'll actually have to jump onto it. That way they can't just swim their way to victory. <laughs> I still love the idea of them getting to this point and then not doing the arrow and then just doing this. <laughs> I want to make sure this works. Oh, it's on fire. I do need to make this taller. No, I've already committed. People can swim over here and then just jump up here, but that's okay. If they want to cheese it, we'll, we'll allow it. Unless they're wearing, unless they have fire resistance, they shouldn't survive that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I had a bow in my inventory the whole time. <laughs> I like this. Alright. I need to grab a couple more blocks. We'll seal that off for now. We haven't finished that part yet, but we'll link that up over here. We'll have a lantern set up right here and of course I'll have to wire that up to go down we'll just go ahead and clear that out for now it'll travel along the copper then it will go down. It'll go down that way. No, that gets in the way. That actually gets in the way a little too much. So 
it'll go down, it'll go here. Then it'll go down one more. And this is difficult to get around. All right, I guess we're going down this way. That is not the right way. We need to go this way. Too low. We need to go up here. Which means it's in here, I think. There we go. So we need to send this all the way down to here. Oops, that doesn't work. We have to go around. We can put a torch here. Actually, no. We want this to be off. Now, the problem is this is going to be too long. Um, where did I put the lantern? <laughs> I had a lantern here somewhere. How did I lose it already? Ah, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Lantern goes there. I think this will work. I don't think you have to go directly into it. Although doing that should work too. Let's test it. Apparently th that does not work. Let's try the lever. Yep, that works. Oh, it also reaches far enough. Interesting. That's good to know. Because we need to wire this up this way. We will have something back here. Which of course means we probably need more of these. Okay, so this will come down this way, it will hit this. Let's 
the lever, which I do not have anymore because I put it down. That's okay, I need to get more redstone anyways. The lever will go down over here. We'll just keep it right there. Turn it on. Is it not close enough? That was one short. <laughs> there we go. keep these spaces lit otherwise the zombie spawner will start accruing things here will this reach far enough I don't believe it will the question or the answer to that question is no Which means we have to go make another redstone repeater. That is our life now. I'm out of wood. I think I'm out of wood. Nope, there it is. Thankfully, I should check see if it's raining. It's been a little bit. Is it raining? It's dark out, which means phantoms are probably spawning. It does not. Oh, I see rainfall. It is raining. Okay, we're going to switch gears and see if I can find a snowy biome. means I need this and these I'm hoping I can get enough of this to make one or two powdered snow, because so I'd love to use that. It's new enough, I think, that some people haven't actually encountered it. It was new to me when I came across it. Ooh, I forgot how fast that is. I think we have an ice biome, like right over here. Give me the snow. Here we go. Uh, not ideal. Let's not stop there. There should be ice over here. Right on the other side of this. Because I have a drowned spawner or farm attempt here that never came to anything. Uh, we gotta get over here before it stops raining. You know what? This mountain might have to do. Nope, there's ice. Okay. Ow. Can you not, phantoms? 
you not? Are you filling? I hope these fill. I might have to put blocks underneath these. working. <laughs> Ooh, thankfully I brought my buckets too, because you need buckets to actually extract it, I think. I think it gives you like a bucket of snow. Man, I've done some damage to that pickaxe. Go ahead and barricade myself over here. Let's hang out right here. Let's see that phantom. I see you. He's just waiting over there. Should have brought my book. Unfortunately, we have to be in the area for this to work. Let's do some hunting. I heard a drowned over here earlier. I wonder where he went. I really need respiration on this helmet. Only one of these is filling. Why? Do they have to be spaced? Why is this one the only one filling up? Watch, I'm not going to get a single block of powdered snow. It's going to say craft, you do not get any powdered snow, you have to wait. Every time it snows, I'll have to just run back over here. I like how this little tiny area is ice. Come on. Give me one block. Just one. The shame polar bears don't give you meat. Maybe they give you fish. Yep. I don't think they wanted it. So for the next part of this, I have to make a puzzle. And said puzzle I'm not, I'm not set on. I've been trying to think about it, but I've been so busy today, I haven't had a lot of time to just sit and think. So the items that we have to work with, 
we have the comparator. We have wooden buttons. We have the trap, not trap doors, the pressure plates. We have tripwire. We can use each of those differently. The question is, how do we want them to complete that area? Unfortunately, there's no way we can make it based on like them defeating things. I don't know what to do for that one. That one's a little tricky. And then the problem with the logic puzzle is even the simplest puzzle becomes very difficult to, to actually make it work with redstone. Well, we didn't get it. We got two partial ones. So I will grab the coordinates and I'll come back there at some point. Maybe after the stream's over I'll just AFK over there and try to collect up as, as much of that as I can get. I think I need to go basically just straight this way. No, I need to go that way. Nope. That way. How's it going, Imps? I was trying to get some powdered snow to use for traps, but it did not rain slash snow long enough. And it's quite a bit of ways every time it rains and snows. This is our island right here, just the the uninhabited side. See if there's any cats. I see zero cats. This is not a very uh, a cat rich village. Oh wait. Of course, I don't have any fish in my inventory. Go figure, right? Finally get a cat, and I can't even name it. <laughs> All right, fish, where you at? There's other people on the server, so they're probably tying up all the spawns. If you're ever playing on an SMP, why would why would you have a free sound? <laughs> That, that would just be obnoxious. People would just be playing the sound over and over and over. <laughs> if you're ever playing on an SMP, a multiplayer server, and there's no fish, it's because they didn't enable a rule that fixes this. Even then, every 90 seconds, if you have like 10 people playing a sound. <laughs> Even if it's a global cooldown, it's a little crazy. I 
Well, this really throws a wrench into everything. This is why I don't like to play bare bones vanilla Minecraft server and why I use papercraft for my server. Because you can fix these problems. Because right now I can't get fish because other people on the server are tying up all those spawns. I will have to go back down to go grab the fish and then come right back up. Well, that's not the thing you have to be concerned about, Ebs. It's people that jump in, look for anything that they can spam, and then run out. <laughs> people will follow just to get the points and then spend the points and leave. Like, they're just cycling servers, uh, streamers. We will give Amanda her cat. Because she redeemed the, the name thing. And I was unable to do it last stream, so we'll do it this stream. <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple people. They added more people to the server. But again, once I finish my build, I am done with the server. I'll be moving on to my own private server. Well, half private. I'll be adding a redeem for people to be whitelisted. And then there's some people I'll be adding uh, because they're either fellow streamers or have been with me since I first started streaming. Where's that cat? Did it despawn? Probably despawned. Oh, now there's fish. <laughs> now that I already went and got the fish. See, now there's no cat. The cat left. It is impossible to get things to spawn when you need them. Literally impossible. I needed fish to get the cat but no fish were spawning. So I go and get the fish out of my chest and the cat despawns. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, you've clearly chosen the wrong version. Those versions are not very good. Wait. Where the heck is this cat? Alright, I assume the cat left. <sighs> I was gonna have to name something else for Amanda. Because, uh, cats don't exist on this server. It is impossible. I wonder if they're on the roof.
Any cats? Nope. Any cats up here? Nope. Oops. All right, back to building, I guess. It's really frustrating. Every time I see a cat, I don't have fish in my inventory. So I go to retrieve fish and then it leaves. While it's on my mind, we need to make this and we need to add these. There we go. Once you're in, you're in. <laughs> no. Bedrock being the worst version is not opinion, it is fact. You have to play the advertised version where they just throw nothing but adverts at you. Like, look, marketplace, 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 marketplace. <laughs> I don't know, is it a roast? <laughs> Time to cover this back up. Look, I just don't like bedrock, okay? <laughs> I think that they really messed up bedrock. It could have been a good version. I just don't understand why they had to make everything different. Like, why is there got to be two Minecrafts? Why can't you have Minecraft on Windows and also Minecraft on Windows? <laughs> why does why does the combat have to be different? Why does water have to be different? <laughs> Everything. Even even mob spawning is different between Bedrock and Java. You see, and they could have made tutorial worlds on the Java edition, but they've yet to do so. So the Microsoft clearly playing favorites, even though Java edition was first. Okay, so we have that side closed. You'll have to get all the way around through that to get there. This side, I still don't know what to do. I'm going to peek my head out one more time. We'll see if, if we can get that spawn. I really need to get that cat because I need to stop worrying about it. I'll have to remember to take this as well. I'm putting this here temporarily. You see, that's that's my opinion. They need to make it streamlined. You can't have three different versions. It just it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair to either. Uh, any side of it.
some of it's kind of arbitrary too like they chose to make it different just for the sake of making it different I mean there's not much you can do in Sea of Thieves is there? It's basically just find, find treasure and then bring it back and then hope another player doesn't sink your boat How far away do I need to be for cats to spawn? We're going to check the whole island. We're going to see if there's a single cat on the entire island. I mean, I like the idea of Sea of Thieves, but it's just too basic. Now, if they had like more customization, maybe add survival elements to it and stuff like that, I'd be into it. Just kind of a gimmick. It completely relies on people just so some indie games completely require people to make their own fun out of the game and if you're not willing to do that then the game doesn't have the value I don't know. It's one of those games where unless you have friends that are playing it, the the experience value drops. <laughs> there are some games that are only fun with your with your friends. All right. Well, this cat decided. To it's a no-show and unfortunately I'm going to have to cut the stream off because I have some other stuff I have to get done this weekend so I'll probably be streaming tomorrow around 5 p.m. Eastern so you're wasting all of your points already But I've hydrated because you've spent your points. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. I was really hoping to get this cat out of the way. But well, it looks like we're two streams deep without a cat. <laughs> if it comes down to it, I'm just going to have to slap this uh, name tag on something else. But I'll be streaming uh, Valorant tomorrow, so no Minecraft tomorrow. Unless I come up with an idea for this. If I can come up with an idea... Yeah, I could put a golem down. I wouldn't put it on one of these, because these ones are in like an endless state of death, because they're outside. Tomorrow I'll definitely be streaming Valorant. And then if I can come up with a good idea for what to do with that second half of the dungeon for the puzzle then I'll also stream that uh, thanks for hanging out and for stopping and chatting with me Ebs and the other people lurking around uh, catch you guys tomorrow